Good morning, good morning, Mothers of Zion. How are you today? What a blessing to be sitting back in with you again. God bless you. I'm going to wait just a second for y'all to get on here. And I'm praying that I am straight today and not crooked. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the last prayer cast being sideways. I thought I had it straight. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, my others of Zion. Thank you for being so faithful to pray every day. <clears throat> to get on here at 8 a.m., some places at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., Wherever you are around the United States, thank you for being faithful to pray every day. We love you and we honor you and we thank you for being a lover of Jesus and a lover of prayer. Sitting in today again for uh, my sister, Pastor Callie, and uh, I want us to pray for her today. She's traveling today and uh, having some meetings today and she needs wisdom, so we're going to ask the Lord to just give her wisdom and bless her today as she travels and and goes where she needs to go. And so God's with her. You know, the, the Lord goes before us and makes every crooked place straight. So we're declaring that over her today. And uh, so I thank you for getting on here and praying with me and praying with Pastor Callie and all the other prayer leaders that lead all through the week. We just honor you and thank you. Uh, we love the Holy Ghost. We love the Holy Ghost. There's nothing like his presence. And also, my honey, Pastor Todd, is playing today. Good morning, guys. Good morning. From my honey. We have been married 40 years. This year we celebrated 40 years of marriage, July the 18th. And he's the best thing that ever happened to me besides Jesus. So I'm so thankful for him today and his love for the Lord and his love for me and his family and the people of God. So it's good to be on here again. I'm going to wait for you to get your elements and we're going to receive communion here in just a second. Let's see, we have 177 on so far. So let's wait a little bit longer. We'll go ahead and get your, your elements ready for communion so that we can receive communion this morning and then we're going to pray. <clears throat> And before we pray, we're going to make some confessions, okay? All right, these are some confessions that we make every morning when we wake up. And I want you to do them with us today. So, Lord, we just love you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you here today. He's in our home. We feel him even now. And I ask you, Holy Spirit, to just touch every heart in life watching today. God, envelop them these mothers of Zion, God, with your love and your power and your grace, God. And <clears throat> we welcome you, Holy Spirit, to encounter every heart, every heart this morning with your love. So we honor you, Jesus. We honor you. We honor you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Well, we're going to go ahead and receive communion. And I want you to take your cracker, whatever you're using for bread today, and I want you to break it. Just as... Christ's body was broken for us. Lord, we remember your broken body. Broken for us, God, that we may be healed, delivered, and set free by the power of what you did, Jesus, at the cross. So we honor you today. We remember you today. We remember what you did for us at the cross. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to search our hearts this morning. Search our hearts. Lord, that we ask God, God that you would forgive us for any sin, anything that we've done or held on to. God, we give it to you this morning and we ask you to cleanse us and forgive us, Father God, as we remember your broken body, broken for us. In Jesus' name. Thank you. being healed right now as you receive his broken body. He broke every curse. Every disease was broken when Jesus hung on the cross. So Lord, we thank you for that today. We honor your precious blood poured out for us, God, that we could be saved. So Lord, we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Thank 
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Father God. today and concerning our nation today and so we trust you we trust you we lean into you today holy spirit and we say have your way god have your way i want you to make some confessions with me our one of our spiritual fathers papa dale gentry if you don't follow him and bp bpnradio.com he has a 24 hour a day network on radio. And I'm telling you, it's powerful. There's people praying every hour of the day. And years ago, our family had the honor of traveling with Papa Dale and Jean Gentry with our children across this nation. And we, we would pray with him every morning and we would start our day with these confessions and I wanna teach them to you. And so just repeat them after me. Say, this is a good day. This is a God day. This is a God day. I'm going over. I'm going over. I'm not going, going under. I'm not going under. I'm going to the other side. I'm going to the other side. I'm oh. going to be a strong finisher. I'm going to be a strong finisher. I can do all things. I can do all things. All things. All things. Through Christ. Through Christ. Who gives me strength. Who gives me strength. This is the day. This is the day. That the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. Notice. Notice. It's your will yeah. and my will, right? I will rejoice and be glad in it. The joy of the Lord the joy is, my is my strength. Is my strength. Yes. Lord. He's a good God and he cares about me and he cares about you today. Nothing, nothing, nothing will keep me from his love. Nothing will separate me from the love of God in Christ Jesus. He goes before me and he makes every crooked place straight. So Lord, today we thank you that this is a good day. Yes. This is a God day. That we are overcomers by the power of our testimony, God, by your precious blood 
and the word of our testimony. God, we stand in faith today knowing, God, that you're working all things. Everybody say all things. All things. All things for my good and for our good. God, even the things that the enemy would try to put in our path today just to try to distract us from who you are, God, even those things, God, you're working them for our good. So, Lord, we thank you today. We worship you today. We thank you for your goodness to us, God. We thank you, Lord, for waking up today. We thank you, God, that we have families that love you, children that love you. God, we're so thankful we can gather together and worship you, God, and not have to fear for our very lives today, God. We're thankful, God, for your word. We thank you, God, for the Bible. We thank you for your word today, Jesus. God, we're so blessed as a nation, God. And so we thank you for your love to us. And we pray for the United States of America right now. Would you do that with me? Thank you, Lord. We declare that you are the eternal thank king, you, Jesus, yes, Jesus, over the United States of America. That you are healing America from the inside out. And you're starting with your bride, the bride of Christ. Lord, heal our land. Set the church of God on fire for you, God. Set us on fire. Awaken us, oh God, out of our slumber. And Lord, teach us to pray. Give us a hunger for your presence and give us a hunger for your word. God, give us ears to hear, hearts to believe, and eyes to see in the realm of the Spirit all that you're doing in us, through us, and in this nation. God, heal our land today. Heal our families today. Heal our children today, Jesus. We love you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, to come and just fill our homes even right now. Would you just welcome it? right now into your home. Holy Spirit, come and invade every heart and every life watching right now or that will watch later. Holy Spirit, encounter them with your love, your joy, your peace, your goodness. I declare the peace of God over you that passes all understanding to guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And Father, anybody watching today that's dealing with COVID-19, God, I thank you right now. You're healing their bodies right now supernaturally by the power of your blood, Jesus. We declare healing over you today and no weapon formed against you will prosper. And God is raising you up as a testimony of his power and his healing. And we declare that COVID-19 is being eradicated from this nation and the nations of the world. God, heal our land. Heal us physically and heal us spiritually, God. Let Christ be formed in us. Let Christ be formed in your church, in your body, Jesus. Let Christ be formed in us, Lord. Listen, I know the last seven months have been difficult. I know. And, I, and us, just like you, have felt the pressing the pressing. We're in the press. We're in the press. Just like the olive must be pressed before it releases the oil. You and I have been in the pressing. And God is working in us through the pressing to reveal His love, to reveal His nature, that Christ would be formed in us. That His love and the manifested power of His glory and presence would be revealed in you and I. So, Lord, we say, have your way. Have your way in us, Lord. Have your way in our nation. Have your way in the nations of the world. Holy Spirit, be formed. Let your light and your love, God, flow out of us, your body, the body of Christ, in this hour. Lord, we thank you. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit. We surrender to the process. We're going to quit kicking against the pricks and say, yes, God, have your way in us, Lord. Have your way. Have your way in my heart. Have your way in my life, Jesus. Let that be your prayer today. Surrendering to him and making him truly Lord of our lives. 
We're always so quick. And listen, I am one of the first to want to pray away anything that causes me discomfort. So I will stand first here and say, I repent. I repent for that. Because the very thing that's bringing us discomfort, if we will allow it, will lead us closer to Jesus, will take us deeper into his presence and deeper into intimacy. Because the Bible says, when I am weak, what? Then he is strong. So when you feel the weakest today, give it to him. Surrender it to him. And then in that place of surrender, in that place of weakness, that's when you are the strongest. Why? Because he's in control. He's leading the way. He's leading the path. And so, Father, we thank you for that over this nation today, God. Heal the United States of America. God, we pray that the foundations of this nation would come back to your truth and to your righteousness and your justice, oh God. Heal our land and start with your people. Start with the body of Christ today, God. Heal us. Heal our perspective. Heal how we see. Open our eyes spiritually that we may see what you're doing in this hour, God. Not only in our nation, but in us, in me, in my family, in my children. Give us wisdom, Holy Spirit. Help us to be led by wisdom, the wisdom of God. So, Holy Spirit, have your way today. I woke up and read October 12th, and I love this, the open rock. From the beginning, I have been with you. You have lacked nothing. I know what you're going through. It may feel like a wilderness, but remember, I've turned the wildernesses into gardens. What is dry and old, I renew and refresh. I water your soul in the wilderness. I send you life-given manna to sustain you. I open the rock to pour out living waters. I protect you from the scorching heat of the sun and the cold breezes at night. I make sure your clothes do not wear out and I will point you in the right direction. I want you to know today, God is going to point you in the right direction. He knows the path you need to walk down today and he knows the doors you need to walk through. The Holy Spirit is leading you today in the right path. He knows the right direction. I provide your every need, natural and spiritual. I planned every aspect of your life, every detail. Don't worry about it. I will be your victorious banner and your defender. I want you to say today, he's already won the victory. He's already won the victory. He's my defender. No one will harm you or steal from you. You are out of their reach. I command my peace to follow you everywhere you go. When you wake, I am there. When you rise, I will go with you. When you sleep, I will increase you. I will open the rock for you and it will pour out life, life sustaining water. You have seen your last day of lack. I want you to say, I've seen my last day of lack. No more lack. I lack no good thing. No good thing. No more lack. No more lack spiritually. No more lack emotionally. No more lack relationally. No more lack financially. God is healing everything that concerns you as you lean into Him, as you follow His precepts, His precepts, His principles. For every promise, there is a principle. So say yes to the principles of God's Word. God, we say yes today. We say yes today. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, to correct the things in our life that need to be corrected. And help us to say yes to you, Father God. To surrender to you, Father God, today. In every area of our lives, that there would be no lack. No lack. I declare your minds being healed this morning. Your emotions are being set in order according to God's word and God's ways. You are not a product of your past. 
God has already redeemed you and set you free. So you walk today in the newness of life. Newness. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Behold, all things, all, all those old things are passed away. And behold, I am making all things new for you today. No more shame because of your past. I break that shame right now in the name of Jesus. And I declare you're being set free today. This morning, you're being set free from shame and guilt and oppression that's tried to hold you down because of your past. God does not remember your past. He has forgotten it. Only the enemy wants to bring it up. So don't listen to his lies. Embrace the promises of God today. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. You have been redeemed by his precious blood. And when he looks at you today, he sees his blood. He sees his blood. His precious, precious blood. Release healing today, God, to every heart and life watching. No more shame, no more guilt. Go right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you. You're raising your daughters up to who you have designed and destined them to be. Mighty warriors in the kingdom. Voices that will declare your goodness, God. Your faithfulness, God. So, Lord, I just thank you right now that joy is rising in their hearts And peace is rising in their families and in their minds. God, I thank you that they have the mind of Christ. And nothing, God, will separate them from your love today. From the love of God in Christ Jesus, our precious Lord. He loves you. He cares about you. He cares about what you care about today. He cares about your future. He cares about your children. He cares because he's a good father. He's a good, good father. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Lift up your hands. Receive his love. He's a good, good father today. He's a good, good father. He loves you and he loves yours. I pray for every lost husband, every husband today that doesn't know Jesus. Lord, we call them into the kingdom of God. We thank you, Lord. They're coming into the kingdom for such a time as this. Lord, save our husbands. Set them free and set them on a right path, Father God. I thank you, Lord, that you are doing a work in their hearts even today, Jesus. Even today, you're speaking to them. Lord, raise us up as wives today to be your hands and your feet and your voice of righteousness and goodness. Let them see your love shining bright in our lives today, Father God. That they would look at us and our very lives would make them thirsty because we're such salt and such light that they thirst for what we carry today, Father God. I thank you for that. I thank you that you're doing a work in their hearts, Holy Spirit. You're saving our families. You're saving our husbands. You're saving our children for such a time as this. Lord, we pray right now for a great awakening to come across this land, come across every family, every church, and every pastor. From the White House to the Least House, God, we pray for the third great awakening to hit this nation and that the glory of the Lord would fill the earth and would fill your sons and your daughters, Father. Let your glory fill our land. Let your glory fill our land. Let your glory fill our land. I woke up with this psalm today on my heart. I want to read it from the Passion Translation. It's Psalm 1. What delight comes to the one who follows God's ways? He won't walk in step with the wicked, nor share the sinner's ways, nor
nor be found sitting in the scorner's seat. His pleasure and passion is remaining true to the word of I am. Meditating day and night in the true revelation of light. He will be standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by God's design. Deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss, bearing fruit in every season of his life. Regardless of what season you're in today, the Lord's promise is that you will bear fruit in every season of your life. He is never dry, never fainting, ever blessed and ever prosperous. Say, I'm ever blessed and ever prosperous, never dry and never fainting. But how different are the wicked? All they are, all they are is dust in the wind, driven away to destruction. The wicked will not endure the day of judgment, for God will not defend them. Nothing they do will succeed or endure for long, for they have no part with those who walk in truth. But how different it is for the righteous. The Lord embraces their paths as they move forward, while the way of the wicked leads only to doom. So, Father, today we thank you that we delight in your ways, O God, and that we walk in step with you, Jesus. That we don't share in the sinner's way or sit in the seat of the scornful. That God, you take pleasure and passion in us because we remain in you, the word, the great I am. Meditating on your word day and night. That the revelation light of your love will shine forth through us, God, through your word. That we're standing firm, flourishing like a tree planted by the waters, planted by God's design, deeply rooted in you, God, bearing fruit in every season of our life. Lord, I thank you for your word, and I thank you, God, that we can pray your word. And as we pray your word, God, we're hiding it in our hearts, Lord, that we know how to live according to your precepts and your promises. Lord, we pray for a Bible revival all over this land. God, give us a love for not only for your presence, but for your word, your Logos word and your Rhema word, God. The difference between the Logos word and the Rhema word is this is the written word of God, right? It's the Logos word. But then there's Rhema. In other words, I open the Bible and I begin to read the word of God and suddenly a scripture that I may have read 50 times or 100 times jumps out at me and suddenly it's like, oh, it's fresh bread for today. It's a fresh rhema word for today that gives me life, that gives me hope, and that leads me in a right path. The Word of God separates light from darkness in our life and will begin to reveal things that we need to repent of and give to Him and also reveals the light of God's love. It does both at the same time. That sword goes in and it can be painful, but when it comes out, the sword of God's Word not only separates light from darkness, but brings healing, the healing balm of Gilead. So, Lord, we thank you for your word today that brings life to each and every one of us. So, I bless you. I declare the blessing of the Lord over you today. I declare the blessing and favor of God over you and your children and your children's children for generations to come. And I declare that every generational curse that has tormented you or yours today is being broken by the power and the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you've set them free from every tormenting and lying spirit. And their families, their children are being set free today. I break every generational curse of addiction and bondage right now. And I, I declare that you're leaving the children of God and setting them free today in Jesus' name. That you will not be bound by anything. Father, we thank you for freedom today. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 
freedom for you and for yours today. So, Father, we thank you right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power. Oh, he is. <laughs> and his grace. Woo! I can feel the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. So come out of the gate. Surely the Lord is healing you watching right now. He's healing your body. He's healing your heart. He's healing your mind. He's healing the things that concern you right now. Holy Spirit, right where they are, touch them. A fresh fire, a fresh anointing and power of God be released on you and yours today, Father God. In Jesus' name. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Can you feel his presence right now? I feel him. I feel him. Woo! Kemaya set that on a boss under the lucky sea. Right where you are, receive. Receive the refreshing touch of Holy Spirit. Fresh fire. Fresh strength for the journey. Fresh courage for your race. Ha ha. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Woo! The work he began in you, he will finish. He will complete. Yes, God. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Holy Spirit. I love his presence. Lift your hands with me and say, thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your power, Lord, that enables us, God, to walk according to your precepts, God walk uprightly before you to serve you with clean hands and pure hearts, God. Search our hearts today and help us to forgive. Help us to forgive. Help us to let go of anything, God, that's holding us back. In our walk with you, we release it to you today, Father. I forgive those who have hurt me. I forgive those who have disappointed me. I give them to you, Jesus. Just give it to him today. Release it to him right now. Right now. Let him have it. And bless them. The Bible says to bless those who persecute you. Bless them. We bless them, God. Do a work in their hearts and their lives, Jesus. Draw them close to you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Ghost. I could do this all day because I love the presence of God and I feel his presence so strong right now. He's so beautiful. He's so wonderful. He's so good. He's so good. And he loves you so much. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I love you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Holy Ghost. You're so good. You're so good. Get us see the you we honor you we thank you for this day I encourage you to share, share today's uh, broadcast somebody needs to the encouraging words and needs to feel the presence of Jesus today in their lives and so I encourage you to share this be praying for the prayer tour I know you have been you've been praying you've been showing up you've been online you've been in person you so we thank you for doing that and being so faithful we go this week to Indiana, and then we go to Kansas City, and uh, 
So we have those two meetings this next week at online if you're in the area and join us. Um, also, we go to still have Pennsylvania as one of the events that you can go and sign on to. And the last one will be Fort Worth, uh, Texas. And we're pulling out the stops, excuse me, for that one. We have ministries from all over coming to pray. Worship leaders leading worship that night, a full band. It's going to be fantastic. So we want to invite you to come and be a part. We love you. We thank you so, so much for being so faithful to pray every day. Every day. You, you women are mighty warriors in the kingdom of God. And I want you to know that your prayers matter. You matter. You're important. You are important to the kingdom of God. I love you. I bless you. And I thank you for being so faithful. My honey and I, Pastor Todd and I, say we love you very much. Amen. And we will see you or somebody. I forget who's going to be back on here tomorrow. Is it... Is it Pastor Karen? I can't remember. I get my days. I don't know. I get my days all mixed up. It's either Pastor Karen or uh, Ann Hammock and her team or Laura. I can't remember. I I need to do better at this. I seriously get them all confused. Who's going to be when? I just get on and pray. But I love you and I thank you so much for being so faithful. We're praying for you. I want you to know there is a prayer team on here right now praying for you. And we go back and we look at your prayer request and we pray for you all through the week. We love you and we thank you so, so much. And we will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Please share this. Bye-bye.